Hi everyone, it's Joanne, and I am doing a video today for Tiffany Doodles, and um, I wanted to do a quick little video on how to use digital stamps in Microsoft Word. Not everybody has Photoshop Elements, and sometimes it's nice to um, open up your um, Digi stamp in Microsoft Word and I hope you guys can hear me because I think there were comments on my last video that people couldn't hear me um, and I apologize for that it was just that my kids were downstairs and I didn't want them to hear me talking because then they would know I was awake from my nap because I work nights and they would know that it's time to play and um, play with me so anyway let's get started so when you use uh, Microsoft Word you want to have your documents um, regular size paper, etc. Here, I'll use it so it's 100%. So here you can see my document. Um, when you insert an image, you just go to Insert, Picture from File, and then you find the file that you want to use. So I keep all my digital stamps in a um, folder on my desktop labeled Digital Stamps. And then I separate them, but I haven't been organizing them very well lately. So um, here, I'll open up something from Tiffany Doodles. And let's see, let's open up. Um, I can't even decide right now. Um, let's open up the lone butterfly that I worked with a couple of weeks ago. So um, when you click on it, actually, let me back up a little bit. Um, I'm going to see the preview of it because I'm not sure which one I'm picking. Oh, we'll use this one. So we'll use the butterfly that I used a couple weeks ago, and I'll just click Insert. And here you see it is on my on my um, document. Now, I'm cheap when it comes to using my Copic quality paper. I don't like having a lot of wasted space, so I would... If I decided to use a um, digital stamp, I would probably fill the sheet up with other digital stamps. So I'll show you what I do. So I'm going to leave that size the way it is. I'm going to format this into columns just so that I get more space. And I'll move my cursor down so that my next paste into the document is will fit. So then I'll do the butterfly base and I'll insert that here. And as you can see, it looks like that. And if I like the size, you can see the ruler on the side. If I like the size, I would keep it. If not, I just use these little um, pull, pull corners. I don't know what they're called. Sorry, I'm not <laughs> computer trained on, I'm self-taught. So I use these little pull corners to resize it and scale it. So I would just push it a little bit more so that it will fit a little bit better. And if I wanted to move it down in my document, I keep forgetting this is not Photoshop, so I would just hit enter, enter, and scoot it down. So that it will give me enough space to use my nestabilities to cut it out, or you know, fussy cut it, or whatever. So here you go, so I did that, and then if I wanted to insert more, which I probably I usually insert about maybe four images per um, paper per piece of paper and so you could tell I hit enter all the way down and here's my new cursor and then I'll insert more and then maybe I'll insert the sentiment I won't resize that I'll keep hitting enter to go down, I'll insert the other sentiment, and sometimes I just like doing this so that I have all of the elements from the zip file when you purchase um, something um, already printed out so when you're ready to make your card you have everything ready and you don't have to keep running back to your computer. And if you're like me, my computer is not in the same room as my scrap room so I have to really plan out my projects and I have to um, take account for the time because my husband also works nights so I can't print during the day sometimes if he is asleep and you know like that's how it is so I have enough room so I'll print something else and I'll insert another image and that's just basically what it is like 
it's so easy to use Microsoft Word. And I'm sure everybody has their own way of inserting or resizing or doing other things with their digital stamps. And here's the little fall critter. And if I wanted to resize him, I can. Make him like that. You just have to kind of take into consideration what how you're going to cut around your images. Like you don't if you're gonna use nestability on here, you have to make sure you're not going to run into here. Basically. So yeah, that's pretty much how you can use Microsoft Word to um print out your digital images. Um I probably can do a quick little video on how to do it in Photoshop if anybody wants to know. I have Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. And I do use both. Um, let me know if there's any videos that you would like to see, if you have any suggestions, because I'm kind of, sometimes I have brain farts and I can't come up with any new ideas that aren't already out there, so I'm not sure if people already want to see it again from a different point of view or if they're saying oh well we know how to do that you don't need to show me how to do that so anyway hope you enjoyed this video today leave me comments and questions and i will talk to you soon visit tiffanydoodles.com for more information on all these stamps or visit tiffanydoodles.blogspot.com for the blog and visit my blog at joeboogie.typepad.com have a great day thanks for stopping by bye